in terms of uh, coming into a project or starting a project, you couldn't have found a better way to start it off. Effectively, the very first metre of our first drill hole, we went into copper mineralisation. And we to date, we've drilled about 8,000 metres, 10 holes. Every single one of those holes to date has hit significant copper mineralisation. Hello, welcome to Assay TV. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Adam McKinnon, who is Managing Director of Magmatic Resources. Magmatic are exploring for Australia's next big copper gold discovery in the highly prospective East Lachlan region of New South Wales. Uh, Adam, great for you to be able to join us today on Assay TV. Um, if we could start things off, just a little overview of the company and your kind of mission and what you're looking for. Yeah, as you mentioned, we're exploring for really what we like to say the next big discovery um, in the central Lachlan region in uh, central western New South Wales. And we've got an absolutely um, cracking portfolio uh, adjacent to some of the biggest mines in the region um, and also next to some very major recent discoveries, which is really quite exciting. Mm. And your background, um, before you joined Magmatic, you were involved with some some fairly major discoveries in the, in the region. So it's your backyard, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. I've worked in New South Wales pretty much my whole career. Um, I have been lucky enough to be involved in some fairly major discoveries, uh, the biggest of which was um, Federation, which is in the a little bit further west in the Cobar region. Um, that's, that's, a, that's a mine that's actually just been approved um, for development by the New South Wales government, and that will be one of the highest grade um, base metal mines in Australia when it gets up and running. Mm. I mean, and as as you mentioned, you know, you're you're in your some of your neighbours are pretty significant. You've got the the, the Cadia mine there. I believe that's what's that, Australia's largest um, gold producer. Um, China Molly's North Parks mine, and and Alkane's uh, more recent Boda discovery. Um, let's focus in a little bit on your projects. Um, the Mile project. Um, tell us a little bit about the location of that and, and what you've discovered to date. So Mile is uh, is our primary area of, um, of drilling and exploration at the moment. Um, we're really, really excited about this project. In terms of location, it's located quite close to the uh, central um, or the, the regional town of Narromine, around um, 20 kilometres to the southwest of Narromine. Uh, and it's also a long strike, about 60 kilometres long strike, actually, from the North Parks mine, which is actually Australia's biggest copper porphyry mine. Mm. Excellent. And in terms of the, you know what you uh, work on the project to date, you had some success right away at yeah? the Corvette project, prospect. Yeah. Look, um, in in terms of uh, coming into a project or starting a project, you couldn't have found a better way to start it off. Effectively, from our the very first meter of our first drill hole, we went into copper mineralization, and we to date we've drilled about eight thousand meters, ten holes. Every single one of those holes to date has hit significant copper mineralization. Um, what we're really excited about is the scale of this system. Um, our very first hole actually hit more than 700 metres of copper mineralization. And, and yeah, you can talk to lots of geologists, and it, it's very rarely that a geologist gets to drill 700 metres of uh, a copper gold mineralization. Since that time, we have put a whole number of holes in what we call the Corvette Prospect. And uh, we're really excited. Now, Now Corvette has um, been showing some grades and some uh, uh, geometries that are very similar to the North Parks mine down the road. And that makes us really, really excited that we've got something quite special here at Mile. Um, in terms of the size of the system, we, we've established that it's at least um, 1.2 kilometres long. It's up to... 600 metres wide and in places up to 800 metres deep. I mean, when you start to think about the volumes of mineralised rock associated with those sort of dimensions, it's it's pretty hard not to get pretty excited about what we've got here. Mm, absolutely. And what sort of grades are we actually talking about? Uh, the grades are quite variable. Um, typically, as, as you would be aware, porphyry deposits are usually quite low grade. We're, we're talking about some of our higher grade zones matching the uh, North Parks resources. In particular, our first hole, 111 metres at 0.55% copper. 
and uh, 0.1 gold. So also got some gold credits. The other exciting thing is that there's also quite a bit of molybdenum kicking around in the system as well. And we all know how well the price of molybdenum is doing at the moment. Um, we, we are still excited about continuing to find higher and higher grades and um, continuing to expand the system as well. So yeah, lots to do yet. Absolutely. I mean, it's very early days, isn't it? You, you know, you, you drill uh, 10 holes there. Um, but but open in all directions, yeah. Correct. It's it's open in all directions and at depth, and um, we're we're really excited about getting drilling again. Um, we're expecting to to restart drilling imminently, um, and we'll be targeting um, immediately to the north of our highest grade hole to date. Um, this is a hole we recently announced at the end of February that hit uh, two hundred and forty one meters at 0.45 copper. So. Um, very, very excited about that hole and um, and the ones to follow it. Mm. And when do you hope to have the sort of drill bits turning and then maybe, you know, when would you hope to have that hole completed? We are, you know, weather, weather pending, we're ex expecting to have the drill rig on site within the next couple of days. Um, and, and from that time, obviously, it takes uh, a week or so to drill each hole. And we'd expect um, to see, potentially see some assays by the end of April. Excellent. Excellent. Um, if we could move on briefly to, to your to your Wellington North project, um, what, what have you got there and, and, and what are your plans? Wellington North is actually a really exciting area as well. Our tenements actually completely surround um, Alkane's recent boater discovery. Mm -hmm. Now, they, they've just actually upgraded that discovery to 14.8 million ounces equivalent. So it is a really, really big system as well. In the case of Boda and, and our Wellington North tenements, it's a gold-copper area rather than copper-gold. Um, with, with that, um, we, we've, we have a number of prospects that are very similar in terms of tenor and in terms of uh, the nature of the mineralisation to the early um, drill holes at Boda. So um, even though we're uh, currently focused at Mile, um, Wellington North is just as prospective for a major porphyry gold copper discovery as well. Mm. And there's some historic gold mining in, in the area that you're, you're sort of drilling around, yeah? Uh, absolutely. Um, there's a, a gold field, a historic gold field called the Badangra uh, region. Now, these were very, very high grade mines. They average more than 20 grams a tonne and produce several hundred thousand ounces in the, uh, you know, before 1900, actually. Um, they, they were reworked um, in the 90s. So there, there was enough gold there for, for attention even recently. And now uh, we've done a little bit of drilling around there. And we, we still think that area has got quite a bit of potential. But um, it, it's a different style. It's orogenic gold, um, more high-grade vein style gold. We we think the really big potential is obviously um, for a, a porphyry discovery, much much the same as um, Boda. Mm, absolutely. And quickly touching on your your third project, Parks. Um, tell us a little bit about the location and the sort of similarities you're seeing in earlier uh, in, in your early results there to other discoveries in the area. Yeah. So um, Parks. Uh, the Parks project's actually south along Strike from the Tommingley uh, gold mine. Tommingley is another Alkane um, operation. And, um, you know, they've had a lot of success with uh, Discovery there, adding um, lots of ounces at their San Antonio and Roswell um, projects. As you say, we've, we've got a number of uh, gold hits, shallow down there, that are very similar to the early stage exploration at some of those um, Tommingley deposits as well. So that's another exciting area um to be to be exploring mm. and just going back to the mile project there um obviously you're just you're looking for a, you know a, a large scale copper discovery if we look you know back up a bit and sort of look at the copper market and the demand for copper a big need obviously for, for copper going forward and big discoveries like this yeah i mean as a as a company we are very bullish on copper um we if you look at the news and the and the analysis from the experts, you can see that there's a, a massive um, supply deficit um, potentially coming in the very near future. We're obviously going to need a lot of copper um, for for the green revolution and for electrification, and we think we're really really well placed to actually meet some of that demand with a with a major copper discovery in this region. 
I guess the other great thing about where we are in Australia and, and the region where we are in New South Wales is we're in a, we're in a great um, jurisdiction. Um, when you look at the, the global producers of copper, you find that it's dominated by regions that, are, that we would consider quite high risk. So I think being in a safe and stable juris, jurisdiction in a great area that's supportive of mining, you couldn't, you couldn't find a better place for exploration and mining um, in, than other than in this part of central New South Wales. Absolutely. Uh, in terms of sort of funding your next stage of exploration, how's that looking? Look, we're we're well um, we're well funded at the moment. We we did a uh, a capital raise at the end of last year, and uh, an SPP early in January to raise a total of about four million dollars. So, as at the end of the last quarter, we had uh, more than five million dollars in the bank. So, for our immediate exploration around Mile, um, we, we're definitely well funded, and we can we can do a, a fair bit of drilling yet. Excellent. So to wrap things up um, and look at sort of final look at the sort of investment case for the company, um, what should people be looking out for over the next few weeks and months? Uh, as I mentioned, we are imminently about to go back in uh, and start drilling the mile project again. I, I can't stress enough how excited I am um, to be drilling directly along strike um, or immediately along strike from our highest grade hill, drill hole to date. Um, the size of the system is absolutely, I would consider, it very, very large. And um, I think the potential we've got for a major discovery is uh, is is really, really exceptional. And um, looking forward to seeing that. Um, we we expect to have, um, as I mentioned, assays um, from from this most recent round of drilling back soon. We're also we will also have some results from a uh, geophysical survey that we. Uh, have been doing a gravity survey, um, expected to come back shortly as well. And um, we'll get that out into market as soon as possible. Excellent. Well, exciting times for the company. Uh, good luck with the drilling. We look forward to hearing more from you um, as results come in. But thank you very much uh, for joining us today to give us this update on magmatic resources. Thanks, Leo. Thanks, Adam.